Good morning, good morning. It's great to have you here with me. Good morning. Okay, so today we are going to read The Bernstein Bears and the Ghost of the Forest by Stan and Jan Bernstein. There we go. Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear, as the scouts tiptoed down the stair. We won't need Pa, Sister Bear said. Not this trip, agreed Cousin Fred. Hmm. So they're going to go it alone. I see you scouts are on your way into Great Spooky Forest for an overnight stay. Pa, I hope you'll excuse us, said Brother Bear, but this isn't a trip. Oh, this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me sleep with the spooks? Not on a dare. So he's saying there's spooks in there. Spooks? gasped the scouts, not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds. A nightly parade. Oh my, see they're getting scared. I got it. And boss of them all, the ghost of the wood, call off the trip, scouts. I really and truly think you should. Nonsense, said Mama, who overheard. Spooks indeed, not another word. Your papa's just trying to give you a scare. So be off with you, scouts, smiled wise Mama Bear. As the scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa sneaked around and climbed the stair, then up to the attic, to the old rag box. What's Papa up to? The sly old fox. Sly Papa cut three holes into a sheet and turned himself into a ghost with bare feet. Oh, silly Papa, huh? Leader Jane met the scouts at the edge of the wood. No Papa, she asked. That's very good. Papa gave us a bit of a fright. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks, that's nonsense. Now let me explain. There's no such things, said Scout Leader Jane. So the scouts went to work setting up camp, raising the tent, filling the lamp, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took time to explore a bit. She collected some leaves. She studied some seeds. That's when she heard a voice in the weeds. Chuckling and talking to himself in there was, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear. Oh my. This trick will be fun, Papa Bear said as he pulled the sheet over his head. Hmm, said Jane as she tiptoed away. This is a game that two can play. Then using some twigs and some leaves as a base, she started to make what looked like a face. Two eyes, a nose, a mouth. Look at that. The scouts told stories in the firefall or in the firelight. <laughs> then they all bedded down for the night. Ooh, they heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those scouts from their heads to their toes. They ran to Jane's tent, but Jane wasn't there. Well, what shall we do? cried Sister Bear. Then a spookier spook came into sight that gave the first ghost a terrible fright. Ooh, I am the ghost of the forest. Look, off he goes. He's like, yikes. And 
Who did Spook 2 turn out to be? Leader Jane, of course. That's when they saw Spook number three. My, it's our third one. Who do you think that is? Who could it be? Let's see. As the campers and Pa shivered and shook, Sis opened an eye and took a good look. She saw something strange, a yellow hat on a pumpkin head. Pa's red pajamas and polka dot dress that looked exactly like Mama's. Hmm, mom is very late. Just having fun. The voice, it was mama's. Then her head poked out of papa's pajamas. Teaching papa a lesson like this was just too good a chance to miss. There she is. It's a double ghost lesson, said Jane with a grin. There's no such things, there never have been. But just as sure as night follows day, it's fun to be scared of them anyway. Well, that was fun, huh? I hope you liked our story of the ghost in the forest. <laughs> have a good day. Love you.